Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about the market madness that happened yesterday with the full drop of Team of the Year cards in packs. We learned how long they're going to be in packs for. We got some new information about some new card types that were added to the code. Crazy day yesterday, right? The packs, of course, the pack openings, a lot of people just ripping packs saved up, lightning rounds, all that kind of stuff kind of takes precedence over what happened on the market yesterday or it kind of overshadows it. But there is a lot that needs to be talked about because there were some crazy movements that I was able to take advantage of just a short bit uh, before the lightning rounds came out and before the pack spam hit, but also during the pack supply, right? Team of the year cards dropped a bunch of flew and have now come back down. So I want to talk about that as well. And of course, the rest of the market, a lot of the high tier market went up really high. Icons, really elite level um, out of pack special cards. So I want to talk about that as well. Talk about what we might see today on Friday because it's a promo Friday, honestly, right? We're in the middle of team of the year and it just feels weird because Fridays are usually the most hyped days. Now, today, we probably will have an SBC. We didn't have one yesterday, which I was surprised. It kind of broke up their normal streak of going an SBC every other day. Um, but I think today on Friday, we're going to have to have one, right? Because it's a promo Friday. There's nothing new except for maybe the 12th man coming into packs. Um, apart from maybe what this could be right here, we have ourselves a little pack design, card design, actually, that was added to the code by Footwatch. Now, they added this card design right here, which will remind you of Team of the Year nominees from last year. Now, there's a couple things we're thinking about this. Number one, could this be the 12th man card design? Would they give the 12th man and Team of the Year a different card design? I don't think so, because I'm pretty sure what they said on that vote was it's the 12th person in Team of the Year. They're going to get a Team of the Year uh, item. So that should be a normal Team of the Year card. So I don't think that this is for Messi. It could be, but if Messi has this card design and not the real Team of the Year design, that would suck. Or Sonaldo, whoever wins. We think it's going to be Messi. I voted for Son. Whoever wins, right? We're, we're assuming Messi because of the popularity. But this either to me, guess it, I guess it could be the Messi card as the 12th man, even though it's a less desirable design, although I'm not thinking that. Or it might be some sort of team of the year moments or maybe a nominee team of the year SBC. Like maybe since Tiago and Sun didn't win, one of those two as the runner up would get an SBC or they're going to release a nominee with a like semi boosted team of the year card that would be an SBC. I'm not sure because this exactly looks like last year's nominees. But of course, they really they wouldn't put nominees into packs now because of course, nominees like we already had the full team. Like if they were going to do nominees, that would be beforehand. So the only other explanation for this, unless EA has something new planned is honestly like, remember how we had team of the year moments bail in like FIFA 19. We had an SBC that was like team of the year moments. It was kind of like the card design, but a little bit, you know, pulled back of a normal team of the year card. That's what this might be, right? Because this looks like semi normal card design just without the stuff around the outside. So maybe we see some sort of SBC player today, that has that card design and they call it like a team of the year moments or something. I'm not sure. Uh, does this cause panic though? I don't feel like this should cause too much panic. I, I still think you're going to see a little bit of a drop off today on team of the years into the 6 PM time range time range uh, for Friday. We'll talk about that in a second, but um, that card design right there came out and also the new man of the match card design. So I am expecting man of the match cards, not at the content drop, unless EA is going to change the way they do it, but they've always dropped man of the matches later in the nighttime. And I, I, like, honestly, oftentimes when they drop man of the match cards, they don't even tweet it out. Like literally it just show, it'll show up in one of these little sidebars here and it'll say, uh, man of the match items now in packs. And we have to like look on footbin and look on Twitter to figure out which ones are actually in packs. So, um, of course, we like Man of the Match items because they're very fun to trade with. They usually do not have a lot of supply uh, because they come in and out of packs at really weird times, like from Friday night to Tuesday is kind of when they're in packs. So they don't get supplied that much as normal cards do. Um, and that is why they're very desirable. But again, this team of the year, the nominees or team of the year moments car design is very, very interesting. So I'm that's the number one thing where I'm just not not really certain or sure on what's going to happen today with that SBC or with that card design. So let's talk about team of your cards, though, because yesterday everybody opened up their saved up packs, right? 
Everybody open those saved up packs and I'm gonna show you guys what happened. We'll take a look at some of these cards and look at some of the rises and the falls back down. Because honestly, these guys are not as high as they were an hour or so after the cards uh, all came into packs, right? Alfonso Davies was the biggest mover of the day. This guy during lightning rounds on the PlayStation console went from 2 million coins in the morning, 2 mil. There was a lot of panic selling before 6 p.m. content drop. He went to 165. And then actually during the packs, he was 1.55 mil. So we dropped another 100K right during that first hour of when this card was in packs. And then for the next hour and a half or so after that, he rebounded hard. And this is the exact same trend you saw with almost all the team of the years today. The supply brought them down very far. They rebounded hard. And then they kind of came back down. And they almost came back down to not quite as low as they were when they were in packs, but pretty close, right? Alfonso Davies went from 155 to 1.9 mil, right? A huge, huge rise there. And has come back down to 1.7. Now he's now he's back up to 1.8. But it was almost like so many people were trying to either one, trade with team of the year cards or just buy it for their team and buy it really fast. And all of that buying power just, I don't know, it all compiled at one point. You had a huge spike. And then of course, People were, were like, yo, this really just went up too much right now. And the people that were trying to just trade with it or, you know, whatever, they just went out and sold. And those listings kept undercutting each other. And it just kind of, tr you know, trickled back down. The reason that I want to take notice of this and what I think this means for the market is I'm curious to see if they went up that much and there was that much panic buying per se or investing, what's going to stop them from really dropping off? If, since they dropped off... You know, Davies went from 1.5 to 1.9, went back to 1.7, right? That's a huge fluctuation. What's stopping him from going back to 1.5 today on Friday with more lightning rounds? And if people that bought this card yesterday are going to start selling it again like they did um, before the content drop yesterday, before the pack supply, because they think it's going to drop even lower. I wasn't thinking these guys would be lower on Friday, but after I'm seeing how much, you know, sell off after that initial boom happened... In my opinion, depending on what content comes out, and of course, more lighting rounds, some saved up packs will still be open today. I would not be surprised if these cards even go a little bit lower today than they were yesterday, right? Virgil van Dyke was 2.3 something million coins um, during the the onslaught of the packs today. Now he's actually just bounced back, but if we take a look at his graph, he had a very similar movement to Alf Alfonso Davies, right? Two of the most hyped up team of the year cards. Three million coins to start today on Thursday. Drops down to 2.4 mil. He was actually two of threes, like two, three, nine, nine. We saw a couple of them. And then boom, back to two, seven, back down to two, five. And now he's back up to two, six. So these cards are really fluctuating because a lot of people want to try them out. And a lot of people have coins to do so right now. So I, I think for the rest of the team, right? The ones that have fluctuated today the most, the ones that have moved up and down the most, and, you know, Ronaldo and Mbappe were the ones who didn't fluctuate, right? Mbappe went from 7.2 down to 6.9, back to 7.2, and now he's at 7 mil. Ronaldo went from 9.1 to 8.7 and is still over 9 mil. These cards are probably not going to move around as much today on Friday as well. But guys like Kimmich, Davies, Ramos, Trent, Trent was 950K today during lightning rounds. Neuer was 490 on the PlayStation. And all these prices are relative to the Xbox as well. If we take a look at these graphs, they did the same things, right? They were low and then they bounced back. He was 1.9, bounced back to 2.1. He's 2.2 on Xbox right now. So these, these trends were the same for basically all these cards. I think these guys are going to drop down and they might even go lower than where they were yesterday. I didn't originally think they would go lower than yesterday, but I think they will today. I think they will go lower. Not all of them per se, but I think a lot of them will. Uh, I think a lot of these team of their cards will go lower today. So if you have an opportunity to get it out and if it's a, if it's a buy you bought for your team, is it worth it maybe risking it? That's a question you kind of have to wrestle with yourself. I don't think it's going to go crazy lower. Like, I don't think Alfonso Davies is going to go below 1.3 or 1.2 million coins. Uh, maybe he goes back down to 1.5. Maybe he dips under 1.5 a little bit. But I don't think he goes that low today, even with the extra packs coming. Unless EA drops crazy content, I don't see it being that low of a drop. So that's what happened with the team of the year today. Those had the biggest market movements out of anything 
on the market. Now, some other stuff, again, like I mentioned, high tier cards were very, very uh, inflated, right? Check out this Garincha, 1.4 mil, 1.39, down to 1.07 on the Xbox. And then boom, after 6 p.m. content, this guy's back to 1.6 and almost to 1.3 mil on the Xbox. So crazy rises on the icon market today. If we take a look at the index icons, actually, uh, you will see that the boom happened, right? A little bit of supply and then boom, icons really, really went up today. That is what we expected. The one thing I didn't expect is just to have the lower tier market kind of stay a little bit more stagnant, right? Like cards that are under a million coins, you know, some of them did really well today, like Chiellini did really well, Goosens did well, but the guys that really did well were the elite tier, right? This Usman was 1.25 this morning. This maximum was 1.03. Those guys exploded. Uh, Messi, this guy was 1.55. He, he was up to 1.7. This Rashford is up uh, over 120K. He's 1.2 mil right now at the moment. That's a crazy high price on that card. Um, and of course, you have this VVD who is still chilling really low down here. But this Mbappe, uh, record breaker is 2.7. That definitely did well today. So if you bought stuff yesterday and it didn't really go up that much, I'm honestly kind of holding some stuff, right? I, I still have the Sancho's that I bought before Thursday. So I'm honestly holding this stuff because the stuff, you know, people are still going to be going and buying cards tonight on Friday. And you're going to see a lot of stuff go high, get rare, uh, and, and do that sort of thing again. So I would expect that stuff to happen again today. Um, this was my biggest trade. Obviously we're doing a lot of packs. I bought three Neuers at 190 K. He was getting panic sold after weekend league rewards. Um, and then actually during the first lightning round when his team of the year was dropping so much, I bought three of these at 190. He went back to 220. I just knew it was going to happen, right? Because of the Boateng links and stuff like that. So again, what can you expect more today on Friday? I do think 100% we get SBC content. 100% we get SBC content on the game today. I'm really curious to see what that card design is about, what that could mean. Um, and maybe we get like a flashback card. To, I'm not entirely sure, but if you do want to get in on some SBC fodder, I know we're going to have more lightning rounds and stuff today, but if you think an SBC is coming on Friday today, stuff is low, like lower than it has been in a long time for some of these cards. 84s are 5,000 coins in the 5k range. And it's not just that they're cheap, right? The ones that go bananas and the, the ones that go crazy high when SBCs come out, those are the ones that are cheap. This Koke card, right? This dude was 20,000 coins almost. It is absolute peak, right? Uh, who's another one in here? Delict, 12K for Delict. Serie A center back, right? Boom, this guy was 27K, 26K earlier in the month when Icon SBCs are super prevalent. Now, last week he went down to 12, rebounded to 16, 17, and is now back down to 12. Again, this is gonna be the weekend where at some, po at some point this weekend, you're gonna wanna do a club stock of high-rated SBC fodder in your club, right? 84s all the way up to 88s, 89s, because again, as we talked about in previous videos, post team of the year, the SBCs around this game, after people are done opening packs and stuff, they have SBCs that are halfway completed, right? Or they have, you know, fodder in their club, you know, hey, I can go do the Dybala SBC. I've got almost all the stuff in it. You know, I'll have to go buy an 86, 85, couple 84s to finish it or whatever. Um, maybe that's not a good, good example, but like a mid icon, right? People have coins and they have half the SBC done or they have enough fodder in their club to do it and say, yeah, I can buy some, I can buy some fodder. And that just starts to make the fodder go up because there is no supply. It's all demand after team of the year. So I would definitely look at a club sock this weekend for sure. If you didn't get in on fodder yesterday during lighting rounds, maybe even today during lighting rounds could be good. Um, but if you don't want to risk it, it's still low enough right now. Um, that you could just buy it, throw it in your club and feel pretty good about that. Uh, one thing I would still watch out for today is just fluctuating and panic selling, right? Because look at meta cards in this game, stuff that went up today, Pogba, this first informed Pogba, 439 right now is very expensive, right? Road to the final cards. This Joao Cancelo is 270, right? 655 for this. Um, Varane was 145. He's now down to 1.38. These cards are still going to fluctuate. Watch for selling in the morning. Headliners too, right? Uh, this Ben Yedder was 1.3 flat. This Felix was 770. He rebounded very, very nicely. I know they're still hard to find with the filter range mess ups right now on the market, but I mean, 
I still think there's gonna be a little bit of sell-off this morning and it's gonna be an opportunity where you can get into some of these cards. Now the current team of the week, uh, DeYoung was 180K, he's rebounded to 198. Bernardo was in the low 90s, he's rebounded. This Neymar card, who we actually packed as on a for a viewer yesterday on the live stream, it was so awesome. Uh, this guy was down at two mil, two mil flat, and he kind of rose back up to two two where he is now. You know, you might see more panic selling this Neymar again as people are expecting the pack supply and for stuff to kind of move around um, and to get panic sold before that supply impending uh, today with lightning rounds. And then icons again, right? You, you'll want to keep a look on the icon market. I don't expect a lot of drops on these cards, but if you see any drops at all, especially on baby icons that were really high uh, earlier last night, they're probably going to go really high again tonight. I know we were expecting the whole market to kind of boom tonight on Thursday night, but I'm just thinking that because there is not the actual weekend league demand there just yet, and of course people know that today is a promo Friday, that they might just be waiting to buy some of those cards for their team, or they're still working their way through ripping packs or doing an SBC or something like that. So maybe, or not maybe, but I would feel a lot more strongly that tonight you would see a lot of that out of pack stuff really get to a point where it is really, really high up in price. And then of course, Throughout this weekend, it's going to be about packs, people ripping packs, trying to pack team of the years. As you can see, we have not packed one yet. We are still on zero um, and I've got a lot of packs left. So it's going to be a lot of crafting, a lot of fun. You know what? Let's open. Let's open a quick one. Let's open a quick Premier League upgrade pack to uh, end the video. But I do think the market's going to get really high again tonight. I'm except I'm expecting decent content. This whole team of the year promo has been very meh. But hopefully we get a good SBC today. That'd be something people are looking out for and would want. Conte, you know, a name that's been thrown around. Modric, a name that's been thrown around. That was a really trash pack. Uh, but it should be, I think EA should take this opportunity. And I'm going to go craft with those dupes. But uh, EA should take this opportunity and claim back team of the year and make it a little bit better if they possibly can. So hopefully we see something sick today. We'll definitely be keeping out for that content. If you guys enjoyed this video, Smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.